<laughs> Gus the Theatre Cat by T. S. Eliot. Gus is the cat at the theatre door. His name, as I ought to have told you before, is really asparagus, but that's such a fuss to pronounce that we usually call him just Gus. His coat's very shabby, he's thin as a rake, and he suffers from palsy that makes his paw shake. Yet he was in his youth quite the smartest of cats, but no longer a terror to mice and to rats, for he isn't the cat that he was in his prime, though his name was quite famous, he says, in its time. And whenever he joins his friends at their club, which takes place at the back of the neighboring pub, he loves to regale them if someone else pays, with anecdotes drawn from his palmiest days. For he once was a star of the highest degree. He has acted with Irving, he's acted with Tree, and he likes to relate his success on the halls, where the gallery once gave him seven cat calls. But his grandest creation, as he loves to tell, was Fire of Your Fiddle, the Fiend of the Fell. I have played, so he says, every possible part, and I used to know seventy speeches by heart. I'd extemporize back chat, I knew how to gag, and I knew how to let the cat out of the bag. I knew how to act with my back and my tail. With an hour of rehearsal, I never could fail. I'd a voice that would soften the hardest of hearts, whether I took the lead or in character parts. I had sat by the bedside of poor little Nell. When the curfew was rung, I swung on the bell. In the pantomime season, I never fell flat. And I once understudied Dick Whittington's cat. But my grandest creation, as history will tell, was fire for your fiddle, the fiend of the fell. Then, if someone will give him a tooth full of gin, he will tell how he once played a part in East Lynn. At a Shakespeare performance, he once walked on pat when some actor suggested the need for a cat. He once played a tiger, could do it again, which an Indian colonel pursued down a drain. And he thinks that he still can, much better than most, produce blood-curdling noises to bring on the ghost. And he once crossed the stage on a telegraph wire to rescue a child when a house was on fire. And he says, Now then, kittens, they do not get trained, as we did in the days when Victoria reigned. They never get drilled in a regular troop, and they think they are smart just to jump through a hoop. And he'll say, as he scratches himself with his claws, Well, the theatre's certainly not what it was. These modern productions are all very well. But there's nothing to equal from what I hear tell. That moment of mystery, when I made history, As fire of your fiddle, the fiend of the fell.